Hi all. In this tutorial I'm going to give you an overview over the liquid bottle effect. Let me show it to you. So that's it. So the water is sloshing back and forth and there's also some visual interest noise on it. So I was inspired uh, by Firebelly Games 2D liquid vial effect. It's also on YouTube and uh, you can find a link in the description. However, I was going for a liquid effect that also includes the inertia of the liquid. As you can see when it goes back and forth, just the liquid goes up the bottle wall a bit. So I made this effect. It's made up of um, three parts. First of all, there's the front bottle sprite. And behind it, there's the liquid with a shader. Let me just separate it, it's a bit more clear. And the third thing is a, attached to the liquid is a pendulum that's used for simulating this inertia. Let me show it to you. As you can see, the liquid surface is always perpendicular to the pendulum string. All right. So the first thing is the bottle. I just uh, This is the front side of the bottle and it includes some um, lighting effects. But um, you don't have to use, you have, don't have to add these lighting effects to the bottle itself, like this directional lighting. You could just use uh, normals, uh, give it a normal texture and have Godot um, do the lighting. But um, I opted for painting it on and painting a bit of visual interest here, making it a bit less or more transparent here and here. The second piece is the liquid, so that's that area. It's made up of this shader. The shader is not that complicated. So the shader has two inputs, basically. One is the mask texture. Let's go to a sprite to check that out. So there we have the bottle texture. Then the mask texture. So this basically finds where the liquid can be and where it isn't. So on the outside we have alpha zero, so that means there is no liquid rendered there. But on the inside of the bottle, liquid is rendered. Um, especially in the middle where it's, the alpha is one, so that's basically impenetrable. And as you go to the edges, it gets lighter and more transparent. And this is because the amount of liquid that a, a ray of light has to go through is less thick and so more light gets through. So it's more transparent. Good. And the second texture down here that is passed in is the fill texture. This texture defines how full the bottle is. Um, and also uh, how the surface is rotated. So let's look at the rotation. I can change it here. So what happens here is this fill texture is rotated. How this is done, I'll show you later. Also, I can uh, define the fill amount here. This just shifts around the UV. Okay. So first, the color. This, this part is just multiplication of the mask texture that we have here with the color. Let's change it to some nice green so it looks poisony. Okay. And now back to this fill texture. Um, if I would just rotate the fill texture, I'd have a problem because, so if the surface rotation is zero, this is the distance, the width of the bottle is distance that needs that this um, surface spans. But if it's, let's say, 0 0.5 radians, it needs to be wider. So that's what this whole thing is about. I'm basically taking the UV, passing the surface rotation, take the cosine of it, and get a new vector which scales the UV. So in the X direction, it is scaled. So in this, this direction when it's rotated. 
And then all this is fed into a rotation 2D. And this is then passed into the UV input of the fill texture, and then you get this nice rotation. Um, the fill parameter, which just defines how full the bottle is, um, is passed in here to the position of the rotation 2D. Okay, and the last part is this down here, and this is just, let me give it more space, and this is just a multiplication on what is coming in from the fill texture. It just um, adds some visual interest, and I'm using a cellular noise 3D, which is from the visual shader um, plugin from the asset lib. It just adds some, some movement to the liquid, so it looks nicer. Okay, so the last part is the pendulum. It's just this code. Um, this I've adapted from Nesver's pendulum code from the video, and you can also find the link in the description. And you can also find the link to the repository where all this uh, various project is in the description. What this does is simulate the pendul pendulum from which I take the angle. Um, the most important part is maybe I'm always storing the global position, the current one, and in the next frame, I'm using that here in process velocity to add some angular velocity. So if you move the bottle around, the pendulum will follow, but with some inertia. And that then will cause the liquid to be, uh, to get an angle. And that is basically it. I hope you can use it in your games. Um, and adapt it. Let me know if you've adapted it or improved it somehow. Um, have fun. Thanks for watching.